Hello everybody, Joe here, and happy Thursday. So today I wanted to talk to you about letting go of guilt. Especially letting go of guilt when you deal with chronic illness or chronic pain. Or maybe you're just, you had a health thing going on, or you're sick, or you're injured, and you can't, um, do what you used to, or what you couldn't, or, or what you normally do. So this topic is from, is a Thoughtful Thursday collab. That's the first Thursday each month, hosted by my friend Joy, organized with Joy. And today just happens to land on the 1st of February. So happy February! So, if you're new here and you don't know, I deal with chronic illness, chronic pain, um, I have a uh, hypermobile Ellis Danlos syndrome and just a host of other conditions, a long list of health issues and health problems. And which means I can't do things that other people can do. Or there are times where I'm in a flare, and for me, I deal with like whether it's that one of my health issues flaring up and being more troublesome than normal, or it's a pain flare where my pain spikes and I'm in more pain than usual, and it just it wipes me out, knocks me out, and there's sometimes where I go a week or more without taking a proper shower. Um, there are some times where I can, well, get the stamina and I can, like, sponge bathe and, um, then I'll just, you know, like, change into different clothes, but there's sometimes why I wear the same clothes for a few days or a week because I just for me when my body is flaring or when my stamina is really low um hygiene kind of just goes out the window and Or, you know, feeling guilty that I'm not eating healthy because I'm, like, eating, um, well, for me, gluten-free cereal because I'm supposed to be gluten-free. Or, you know, eating something I shouldn't purely because of the fact that I'm in a flare and I don't have the energy for anything else. And I just gotta do what I can do in that flare. Now, to get out of a flare, you know, it's recommended to do, still do all the healthy things, to do what you're supposed to. But, when you're in when you when you when you're in a flare or you have chronic health issues or even not in a flare and you know if you can't do dishes if you can't you 
you know, make yourself a healthy food. If you're unable to bathe or brush your teeth as often as you should. You know, if, you know, you tell somebody that you're going to do something, but, you know, your body acts up and you're unable to, or your body gets injured, because I know for me, I injure easily, and you're unable to, you initially, you feel guilty, because you're like, I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to do this, but, you know, with my body, I, I just, I can't. You, you just can't. Sometimes you just can't. And not out of lack of wanting to, not out of laziness, but just, it's just not possible. It just doesn't happen. And... In that moment, you can feel guilty or you can feel shamed if the person isn't understanding or doesn't try to understand. Um, but we need to let that guilt go. It's okay to... In the moment, you can feel sad, you can feel angry, you can feel guilty, but don't stay in that place. Let that guilt go, let that sadness go, let that anger go, because... If you're not doing it out of laziness, if you're not doing it out of spite or to be mean, and it's truly out of your control, then that guilt and stuff just needs it you need to let it go. Don't hold on to it. And know that Especially if you're living with other people and you feel bad that you maybe, or you're living by yourself or you live with other people, and maybe you feel bad that you can't, you know, do as much as others or keep up or whatever it is. Know that it's okay. You know. It's and you know, and, and there are times where you will have the stamina to do things, and you know, you will be able to help out. It could be in very small ways. You know, where you don't really feel like you're doing anything, or you're not doing enough, or you're not doing much. But, just even though if it's something small, something as simple as, you know, wiping a counter off, or being able to wash a dish or load a dish, you know, or, you know, dust a surface, or wipe down a surface. You know, or if you're, it just, or you know, or you, know, or you may have energy to, or the ability to do laundry, do a lot of laundry, or you might have the ability to vacuum, or whatever it is, or, or even, I mean, if you're really good, if you have, if your body's really good, you could be able to clean the bath, clean the bathroom. 
all at the same, all in one go. But and I know there's all these studies to you know limit screen time and all this stuff and how you know doing stuff and being outdoors is better. But we don't always have a choice. Our bodies don't always give us a choice. And so don't feel guilty if you spend most of your day just sitting and watching TV and sleeping because you don't have it in you to do anything else. I'm not saying to give up and to stop taking care of yourself, to stop doing those doing the diet that's right for you or to stop, you know, taking care of your hygiene completely or any of that. I'm just saying during the times where you just can't, that's okay. To let go of that guilt. Because, you know, sometimes a flare can last a day. Sometimes a flare can last a few days. Sometimes a flare can last a few minutes, a few hours, a few weeks, a few months. You know. And it takes time to recover after a flare. You know, uh, you know when you have chronic health issues, it takes longer to recover. So give yourself grace. Anyway, that is my Thoughtful Thursday. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts. Thank you to my friend Joy for hosting this collab once a month for Thoughtful Thursday. I will have her channel as well as the playlist linked to the other people sharing their thoughts in my description box below. And I will see you tomorrow for my 10 minutes better. Which is the two-year anniversary of 10 Minutes Better. So I will definitely be having a video out for that. Have a good Thursday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.